to so flow beautiful music make sure you guys get that new shoes album we have a very very special chef in the building right now your highness here from vegged out cooking and we're gonna be preparing a delicious vegan puritarian dish here yes sir and we're, we're gonna be cooking up some nice Caribbean cuisine for my boys from so flow so those guys have worked up an appetite jamming Without further ado, I want to bring to you the chef from Vegged Out, Your Highness to Fall Ride to the Magical Butter Kitchen. All right, man. Give Big thanks ups, for man. Me on, man. Give thanks. Thank you very much. How right. you doing? Oh my bad. Uh, um, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm excited about the opportunity. Um, I learned about you all from a local friend here in Tampa. We of course be in Central Florida, and um, of course when I met you, I thought the vibe. So excited about the opportunity, man, to come on and do my thing. Thank you, man. Yeah. I, I'm I'm very happy. You know, in such short notice, we found out that SoFlo were coming to the studio. We hit up my boy Tafari. He's on his way. No problemo, right in the kitchen, man. Yeah, so yeah, thank yeah, you so much yeah, for joining. Definitely. So, so yeah. what are we cooking? We see I see a lot of herbs and spices and some some real healthy uh yeah. healthy elements here. Yeah, we got some we got something good. This dish is called Puritarian Plantain Stew with curry jackfruit. So um Puritarian is to get the like, Get into a little bit about myself. I classify myself as a puritarian. That's just one that uses the principle of purity as the primary motivating factor behind the way I eat and really how I live, but in the context of cooking food, so behind the way I eat. And um, this dish is real simple. I chose it because it's real simple. It yields a lot and it's actually cost effective as well. It doesn't really cost that much. So this is something that anybody can, you don't have to be a guru or expert chef. You can sit at home, follow step by step, get in the kitchen and just start creating. And you'll hear me say throughout the video a lot of times, there's no right or wrong way to do this. Right. You know, you can be, it's about being creative. You can always you switch know. it up. So you can switch bit. it up. You see something you don't like, you see you want to add something and do a little that razzle dazzle. So yeah, puritarian plant and stew, some curry jackfruit. And, and you, you let that vibrate all the way into your whole lifestyle, right? Not just what you put into your body, but also what you put onto your body yeah. and what you put your body around. Yeah, definitely. And, and uh, I kind of, in, in the past few hours here, we've been relaxing and hanging out and, and talking a little bit. Learned a lot about you, man, and that's very inspiring. To, and, and I know sometimes life can be challenging to to navigate through and avoid some of those, you know, toxic substances and things. But when you're preparing food yourself, like you are, yeah, it makes it a lot easier, right? Yeah, a lot easier, and you just know what's going on because honestly, it's a lot of things going on with the food these days. It's bad stuff. It's out bad there. stuff. I mean, even in the whole realm of the world vegan, just I always tell people. We have a live stream show, Melodious Eats, vegan cooking show. It streams once a month from the Facebook page, Vegged Out Vegan. Melodious Eats? Melodious Eats. We I like eat that. Melodious. And this is a special edition of Melodious Eats. We conjunction and A little collabo so, in the kitchen right so, now, in the Magical yeah. Butter Kitchen. So, yeah. So, you're right about that because, like, you can you can avoid certain foods and things and, and adapt a lifestyle, but there could still be some bad things out there as well. Yeah, yeah. And it's just touching on, like, I was really bringing on the factor of even the world of vegan. Vegan... My business classifies as a vegan business, and that's basically, by popular definition, what people can recognize, no flesh, no dairy. Um, I classify myself as puritarian, so it's going beyond that, because vegan is a hot industry right now. Mm -hmm. It's a real hot, popular buzzword, so you got a lot of deception coming in. No, big, no different than just the whole nature of how the capitalistic game works, right. but what you see is what, what's going on. People do want to get better, and because of that drive, you got a lot of large companies, large corporations are starting to jump into it. They're flooded with a lot of processed products, and they're not using the highest quality ingredients. So I've just seen the game. I've been eating like this since uh, May 1998, wow. just seeing exactly what's going on with the food. So I tell so people 20 just, years now you've been yeah, eating. 20, about, about 21 years in a couple wow. of months. So, wow. so I tell people I, just man, because they say vegan, look into the ingredients, man. You, you, know? you can't be much older than 21. How old are you, sir? Uh, I'm 41 years old. Man. Okay, so about yeah. more than half your life you've been adapting this lifestyle. Yeah. 
Normal and, math, yeah. And I think what you're talking on a little bit is maybe some of these products that, that are uh, soy-based or, or tofu-based, like maybe those, some of those are not always good for you, right? Those are some of the things, but it's a lot of things because um, literally people are jumping into the industry overnight and making good career moves. From a business, business standpoint, it's, it's pretty good, mm -hmm. but it's hurting the people because they're jumping in, they're just throwing the vegan label, and there's a lot more processed foods going on. And if you look into the, you know, if you just do your research on the nature of processed foods and how they work with the human body, it's not good to oversaturate yourself. I, I mean, I know firsthand, I grew up eating pretty much anything, corner store, eating Twitch. going out of control and it's in the vegan industry real hard too so man that's the truth right there and so there's there's certain foods you can put into your body that can help counteract that and if you if you adapt this full diet you can really just live a, a full fulfilled and healthy lifestyle yeah that's what it's about so let, let's get to cooking my man what you got okay okay let's go on and get cranked up grab these gloves over here for you right here this so you know they called me in and magic butter they were like you know so flow dropping the album we want you to come in do your thing, cook, cook something up for the click, you know, and just have a big celebration. So I chose a dish with that in mind too, Puritarian Plants and Stew. And we're going to make it nice and simple so you can watch and follow. If you don't know, Vegged Out, Instagram at V-E-G-G-D-O-U-T, Facebook at Vegged Out Vegan. So follow us online. We do live shows. We have free recipes on our, um, on our Facebook and Instagram page. So let's go. All right, so we're going to take you through step by step. Everything that we use is certified organic. That's just the nature of our business. Um, we just want to bring the best. You, you know, you try to source locally as, as much as possible. Source locally. We work. We get some of our vegetables from Sweetwater Organic Farm mm -hmm. there in West Hillsborough, West Hillsborough County, yep. on, on Western Hillsborough Avenue. And um, so we try to get local vegetables as much as we can. And other than that, we just go to real reputable stores that get, like, few sources of organic vegetables, and we stay with them. So... We try to, try to get, because the pesticides and the herbicides, they're just not, they're just, I mean, people can do what they want. Who am I to tell anybody what to do? Right. You Man, know, but, but it, just, it's important to know where your food's coming from. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Cool. So we're going to go step by step, and we got some, we got some organic garlic here we're going to use, some other fresh herbs and spices. You know, we got some fresh thyme, some fresh rosemary, fresh, fresh basil. Ooh, I love a little bit of herbs. We're going to spice that up, That's you know, important. right there, you know. We got some organic sweet onions right here. And we got a little citrus effect that we're going to use. That's why you see the grapefruit and the lemon. We're going to give it a nice little zesty taste, and it adds some nutrients in it. And we'll touch on more of these things as we go through the whole preparation of the dish about nutrient and value and stuff like that. Beautiful, bro. We got some organic green cabbage and also some organic purple cabbage right here. You know what I'm saying? And wow, I love this purple color, man. Aside from the color, what, what's the differences between these two cabbages? Is there a, like a different flavor at all? or? It's a slightly different flavor. This is more of like a darker, I mean, it, it reflects on how it looks. Mm -hmm. It's more of a darker taste and also in nutrient value. Uh, from my personal experience and education, usually things in nature, the darker they are, the more nutrient dense they are. Yeah, I got to so, tell you, know. you, this looks a lot like a, like the color of an eggplant or even maybe some beets. You yeah, know, you, yeah. You, you got to think that that might be, and, and light green is, is definitely attractive and healthy, but yeah. this purple has got that. You know. And, and when, when it comes to herbs, man, I, I sometimes I appreciate a strain that's got a little bit of purple in it. You know, there's, <laughs> True, there's something you know, about it. It's, it's, you know, you know, definitely. You know, we should. And I, I, I do want to say that I love what y'all are doing with the cannabis, man. Thank you. Know, you. As far as with the infusing with the food, you know, check Magical Butter out if you're just first time watching the show. They do a little, they do a little this, a little that. You know, so check them out. I love what y'all doing because the cannabis is an important factor in how it can help heal people. The world is just start popularly starting to catch up to this, mm -hmm. but this is something that ancients have known. So, you know, businesses like y'all, you know, bringing it to the people, making it, you know, reachable. I appreciate that. Man. Well, thank you, my friend. And, and it's just another tool in the toolbox, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. And then cannabis as well. You combine that with all these healthy you know, blends herbs. of spices and yeah, herbs and, yeah. and really adapt a healthy lifestyle. And, 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 and like SoFlo said in their song, we're all trying to, you know, uh, change ourselves and, and, it, and it starts with you and what you can affect in your own life and what you put in your body and what you put 
into your, your family's bodies and, and, and uh, yeah, educating the people around you is very crucial. And, and you're your doing people. a great job with that, man. I'm really proud to have you here today. Okay, definitely. So let's, let's get this thing crazy. Baby is a farmer in suburbia. Suburbia. Your resident and doctor. And the doctor is in. There is a farmer. There is a farmer in suburbia. There is a farmer, a neighbor food bush doctor. Start off with, we're gonna start off chopping up the garlic. Yeah. You know, I like to try to get live vegetables, live herbs, live spices. Mm -hmm. Let me see here, let me move this here. I can just, sorry. Yeah, perfect, no worries. And we're live right now in the Magical Butter Kitchen. We got the veg out chef here. Your Highness Tafari cooking a vegan dish. We're gonna bring the boys from SoFlow out here here in a little bit once this once these herbs and spices get marinating and cooking. And uh we're gonna be serving up a delicious infused cuisine yes, here sir. in the magical butter kitchen, y'all. Yes. All yes. puritarian, all vegan, y'all. Yes. You need some uh water in this pot here, Chef? Uh actually, yeah, I can use some water in that I'll pot. Get that thing I got that No, just just a little dab, actually. Oh, so okay. I mean, you know, just a little bit. You got it all set. A little bit set right there. Sweet. So we're going to go step by step here. Like I said, people want to know how to do it. So garlic is, has a real strong pungent flavor. And it's also naturally an antibiotic. So it's involved with healing. It has a long ancient history. So with garlic, you want to just crush it. What I'm doing right now is just crushing it just to peel the skin off. And this is something about we encourage people to get live, get in the kitchen, have fun, connect with your food, you know. You can buy things minced up or chopped up already. It's different though. But it's different. This but, allows you to connect to because you add, you can benefit from food mentally, spiritually, and physically. And touching it is a big part of that. Touching it is a big part. It's also a way to get the family involved. Children, you know, the whole family, let's get in the kitchen. You mm -hmm. cut this up. I cut that up. We work as a team. So yeah. it's something you can build off that as well. And, and then it gives you a deeper appreciation for the food that you are eating. You know? Yes, yeah. And it's like... Exactly. You you understand the labor that went in to just preparing it, but le let's let's consider the labor that went into to growing it and and getting it to your community or, or to your village wherever you may be. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And it's a it pays respect to doing that by actually working with live vegetables. So, have you have you heard of these places called Blue Zones? Blue Zones? No, I haven't heard of that. Man, they, you know they got all these. Uh, these these scientists out there they found these areas across the the world and they've designated them as blue zones and within these blue zones it's where people live the longest and, and oh okay they I found they I found a lot of that. overlapping similarities to these communities and and how these communities prepare their food and also you know grow their own food and and having uh, you know their hands touching the, the vegetables and being deep in the garden and and then and then coming together and preparing the food together, it really, it improves a lot in, in family and, and togetherness and love, yeah, but does. also longevity in life. And, yeah. and, and that's what, you know, science has proven, man. So, I mean, there's so much evidence out there, man. Like, at the end of the day, you got to just kind of feel your own place in life and trust in what your gut's saying, you know, follow your gut. And so. look, look at these skills, man. So, how long have you been a chef? Well, I've been cooking hard like this since I started eating like this, Okay. which is about like 21 years. I mean, we've been in business since March of 2014, uh -huh. so we're actually five years, a couple of weeks later on this month. But, you know, I've been doing this for about 21 years now. And a lot of it came based on necessity, right? Because there's not many restaurants you can just walk up into and, and trust what they're about to serve you. Exactly. And, you know, and even if they have like a gluten-free option or a, 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 a vegan option, it's usually very limited on, on what you're able to eat. You, you get tired of eating salad every day, you know? And exactly. so, big ups to salads, man. Salad is very important, and you should have one as much as possible. But there's so many other really so much other stuff, man. delicious gourmet cuisine you can yeah. and, and you started to develop on that. And that's exactly, that's a good point, man, because, you know, it wasn't a lot of places that I'm going to eat. Even now to this day, I'm really not big on eating other places just because I don't know in nature who's really preparing my food. Right. And food is a big thing. You got to eat to live. So it's a nice energy. It gives your body energy, it gives your mind energy. So I got to start getting in the kitchen and cooking my own stuff. You know, you don't have that many options. You got to get in and start getting loose, yeah. you know? 
Absolutely, man. Absolutely. So we got some fresh basil. We just chopping up a few herbs here, mm. getting this ready. I wish y'all could smell it in here. It's just, it's getting cranked up right now. A lot of you know, freshness going on. This is fresh rosemary here. This, all these herbs, just like cannabis, which you know you can use as tinctures. Every herb has medicinal properties to it. So I encourage people, don't. Okay, so we got some organic sweet onion right here. And this one thing I want to give y'all if, you, if you're unfamiliar with the onions. You know, everybody watching, all cameras, all cameras. Yeah, we you know, got we, all, we all, all going, angles, we all going, man. We all going. Oh, yeah. We all going, okay. Onions. Most of the nutritional value of any onion is found towards the outer edges of the onion. So I'm only saying this because when you go pick peeling off your onions, I would recommend don't go too crazy and peeling off all the layers just because you may see one little patch of skin. What you want to do is just, of course, get rid of the flakiness, the flaky outside skin. You want to take that off. Okay. And now, so. But don't peel that that main layer. Yeah, just see, like this is, you can still see, of course, the orange, you know, right here. layers because that's the most nutritional value is found in the outer layer of any onion so you don't want to just be eating you know kind of like how I grew up we eat a lot we learn we like the foods that we eat in our mouth but they have low nutritional value mm -hmm. so we end up being malnutrition still so you're eating food that tastes good but you have no nutrition and then you know it can lead to ailments headaches simple things you know so keep the onion together much as possible Okay. That, like once you start to cook the onion down, yeah. it starts to lose a little bit of its nutrient value there. Yeah, that's true. And you know, it brings out some of those natural sugars and sweetnesses. And that's true. Yeah. So but, you, uh, you know, you know a little something yeah, about the man, kitchen, man. man. You're you a chef yourself, hey, man. Hey, bro. You know? I'm cooking it up now. But, uh, you know, onions are beautiful things. And, and I found that onions and garlic are in so many different versions. off and so I noticed you chopped that off and now that gives you a flat surface to work with so it's not weeble wobbling right that's that's the, that's the technique I was Boom. actually you took the words right out of my mouth man I need we need to switch positions no man. sir no sir. Give, <laughs> get, give me the maroon jacket you know let you get the diet over here but switch it does it, it, it gives it a nice base so it's
that. So the moments that you got to really pay in, pay attention and lock in, you know, treasure. Component of that, listening to that, Look a lot of hype. beautiful there, you know. colors out here. That's, I love this that's purple. One, that's bro. one thing too, real vibrant. You want your pot vibrant, man. Yes, sir. So you can, you know, even if you don't know what you're doing, people come in and look at you, they're going to think you know what you're doing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you throw it in, you put it on the plate, you're like, that's, that's pretty, man, you know? So. They say you want to eat like a diverse palette of colors in your food. You don't want to eat just like too much of one color of food, man. You got to kind of. The, the reds, the yellows, the purples, the greens, you know, they're, they're, they're very important. Like all the healthy flavors of the rainbow. Yeah, I can see that. I know there's so many different colors and different colors serve for different nutrient, you know, indicators and stuff like that. So purple cabbage, like I said, it's a little more nutrient dense than the green cabbage. And it gives a nice little switch up to the flavor. You know, if I'm eating salads, I personally prefer purple cabbage far as like if I'm using cabbage in my salad, mm -hmm. I use some greens, but I like the purple cabbage, just the texture and the taste of it. You know? Got a good snap to it. Yeah, definitely. All right, so we got that. So we're gonna go ahead and chop up some green cabbage here. And I'm just going step by step, doing all my vegetables and uh, my herbs that's available to be chopped up first. And we're gonna add this into the pot. Where can people find you if they're looking to, to, to follow along and see what you're cooking on? Well, we can be found on our social media platforms on Instagram at Veg Doubt, that's V-E-G-G-O-U-T, and also on Facebook, at Veg Doubt Vegan, same thing, but just information down on the screen below. Make sure you guys go follow along on, on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, we're going to keep on cooking right, it up. So we're going to use some pure, organic, unrefined, coconut, cold-pressed coconut oil. Um, it's very important, in my personal opinion, and from my experience of looking into the nature of different elements to eat with. Try to use unrefined oils, just the refination process and the certain gases and the pressures they use to uh, make these oils or these flours or sugars refined. It's just not healthy. You know, Got it's not healthy for the body. So I'm only saying that in the interest of one's general health, you know. But so, of course, so the less refined something is, the better it can be. Yeah. Hold up, we're gonna cook this up right here. So man. So this is just the beginning stages of it. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna transfer this. It's going to be curried up, browned up, and added to the dish. So that's the first thing. Jackfruit is one of those very, very hot, trendy vegetables. Actually, fruit right now, you know, <coughs> people use a lot. It's recognized as being um, compared to, like, pulled pork. I've seen that. Yeah, so a lot of people use it. We use it in sandwiches. We use it in an array of dishes. So um, this, I chose this with a curry jackfruit because it just goes well with this dish. So it's it grows like very, a, very big. It's got, like, a stringy texture. Like, when it kind of just pulls apart just like a... A slow cooked uh, yeah. rump of roast or something. Yeah. Just recognizes that this is a way you can use something that's natural. It's not processed. It grows from a tree. It's healthy. You can, you can get it. It has nutrient value to, to it. So um, and so, I recommend doing it if you want to stay away from the processed foods and you want something to kind of be. You know, you're using some curry today. You've got a tropical vibe. What What's your main influence when you're cooking? Oh, that's a good question, man. Um, my main focus and influence has always been just to really keep it clean. I don't really have a direct influence. I mean, uh, I cook some dishes that are um, based from different cultures and different heritages. Mm -hmm. That's something that we do. Um, when we cater, we, we tailor make the catering experience according to what the customer wants. So um, I have some dishes influenced by Caribbean. I have some dishes influenced by Far East. 
I have some dishes that influenced by just growing up, yeah. you know, in the kitchen. So it's, you know, it's, it's kind of some mixture of different a things. Diverse blend. Of yeah, stuff. yeah. And and it's interesting because, like you said, you could substitute the jackfruit for for pork if you like, but there's probably so many different traditional recipes out there that can be sort of improved and 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 uh, made to be more healthy than what they currently are. Yeah, definitely. Like yeah, substituting definitely. cheeses. And that yes, yes. You have, you have, of course, it's a lot more popular now than what it used to be. You have a lot of different nut milks. You have a, a lot of different nut-based cheese. You know, we use different things like that because um, there's really very little excuse now, mostly. Right. I would just tell people, you know, just look into what these things are processed with because, um, you know, there is a lot. That's some, this is the curry here, We're currying it up. And so you kind of go by, by your eye here, like you just sort of, yeah. you know, get a feel for it. When you feel it's enough, it's enough. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's uh, exactly a, what a it pinch, is. A pinch, maybe two, maybe three, guys. Because, you no, know, the reason why this is something that we, that I branded and entitled called Connectivity Cooking, okay. which we'll see more of this coming out in the future. Um, it's just basically a method of cooking that relies more on your intuition. And I do that because it allows people to develop their own personal style. Mm -hmm. You know, you can get molds from different people on different subjects, but it's important to learn. This way or that way. So if you want more of this, you'll know to add a little more. If you want to add more of that, you'll know to add a little more. So it's about cooking more with your intuition and just tasting it as you go. You can always do that. Man, that's important. And you know, a lot of that advice, the, the intuitive cooking can, can uh, carry on into uh, cannabis infusions. And when you're, when you're infusing butters and oils in your machine, your first time using it or your first time infusing an oil or butter can be a little bit of an intimidating situation. But uh, like he said, as you get it going, you start to determine what dose is right for you and you get more comfortable with the process. Yes. It, it really becomes very intuitive and you can realize, oh, I need to add more of this or less of that. Yeah, of deal. exactly, yeah. exactly. This is more like the... The best way I can describe it is like a healthier version of soy sauce. Soy sauce, okay, yeah, very yeah, salty yeah. kind of. Yes, brag is a little more saltier. This is the coconut aminos here. And so, so you guys have found that these uh, coconut aminos and the brag aminos are, are healthier than than uh, a soy sauce. Yeah, very very much healthier. The soy sauce has a lot more sodium. MSG. A lot, yeah. MSG is just not good. No, you know, good. I mean, just I, I'm really just, just look into MSG. This is not nothing. Just me persuading people. Just just the facts on it. It's not good. You no know, good. so so this is like a healthier version of the soy sauce. So we added a little more. The coconut aminos has a slightly more sweeter taste. Mm -hmm. The brag aminos has a slightly more saltier taste. So we just add that in, and we just getting that going. And, and I got a, I got a, aminos must. It's got an acidity to it. I, I imagine, right? The, the coconut aminos is actually slightly alkaline, okay. and it's good for the actually diabetics, low glycemic on the pH scale. The brag amino is slightly acidic, okay. you know, so with the combination of both of those. But, but both far less than the soy sauce. Really. Yeah, far less. The soy sauce, I don't recommend, like I said, it's a lot more sodium. It's a lot more processed salts they add to it, and a lot of more modified organisms and GMO ingredients they use. Mm -hmm. So I don't recommend. And soy is just one of those things that... Um, along with corn and wheat, are some of the highest um, known GMO products. So I, I recommend if you're getting soy, try to get a, a, a reputable company, organic, certified organic soy. Yeah. And th that's a great point, man, because you could be doing like even a vegetable stir fry and feel like you're eating all these healthy vegetables, but if it's being sauteed in, in a, you know, a soy sauce or, or a, a teriyaki sauce that's full of sugars and things, it, it, are those vegetables really healthy still? It's canceling some of it out. I mean, a it's little bit. Some of it you, out. Got, you got to be very wise on that one. You know, and we, we're all striving. We're all, we're all trying to get better. You know, I don't know everything. I never profess to know everything. 
But I tell people, if it's in your best interest, keep educating yourself. Because even to this day, after so many years, I'm still finding small things out of my diet. I'm taking out and getting better and better. And, you know, and so. if you guys got any tips for us on how we can improve, uh, leave it in the comment section or maybe share some of the tips on ways that you found to improve your own diet and your own lifestyle. And if you want to share this video out with some people out there in your community that might appreciate what we're doing today, we're, we're giving away magical butter machines. We got my boy, your highness, Tafari, cooking up yes, some sir. Puritan vegan yeah. cuisine. So Ethiopia way, the whole thing all started from different evidences. We see that first people originated Eastern Africa, Horn of Africa, Ethiopia. So we use a natural, uh, Beber is an indigenous spice there that has several different blends. Paprika, a little cayenne, pa um, pap you know, a couple of different things in there. So spice. it gives a nice little spice. So we put, That spice is, is nice, not only for your, your palate, but it also will help enhance bioavailability yeah. as you start eating these nutrient dish, uh, dense foods. Yes, it does. Absolutely. Spice is good. We add a little more curry there. We're just going to mix this up. Like we said, it's a special edition of Melodious Eats. We're eating melodiously. Ooh, Had, melodious, man. You know, I love that word. Hashtag Melodious Eats. Hashtag. Look it up online, man. You know, the vegan cooking show is it's the world's first and only interactive all vegan cooking show that I know of. You know, so let me know where y'all from. When you're watching the show out there, let me know. U.S., Britain, China. Japan, International. Africa, International. Ethiopia. Let us know where you're at. Let me know. Give a shout out. We're going to shout you out live on air. You so, know? so Melodious Eats, man, how long you been doing that? Melodious Eats actually first started out as just a cooking class, a free class, summer 2015. Okay. We transitioned to making it a show in November of 2016. So the whole thing has been almost four years. We've been doing the show for about... Two and a half years for us online. And, and, right? and you provide an educational, family-friendly cooking experience for, for all ages. All ages. You, you got students that are that are children all the way to older than your grandmother. Yeah. You know, we let anybody that's, we often do it publicly at the Seminole Heights Branch Library in Tampa, Florida. And people can come in, no problem at all, and watch the show. Oh, yes, there's one coming in right now. My girl, Joan Morris. Woo! So, yeah, yeah, she watched the show every time. Give thanks, Joan, for watching the show. She uses yeah. washable cotton bags. Oh. Okay, all right. Instead of plastic. Yeah, that's what's up, Joan. I like the mind frame. We got Barbados in the house on Instagram. Barbados! Barbados. Bar okay, that's what I'm talking about. Barbados live. Watching the show. Spread it around. I know it's Friday midday. Chiming in, New cotton Island, back. Newfoundland, Canada. Newfoundland, All my Newfies Newfoundland. up there. Okay. Big ups, big ups. I got to get to Canada, man. I haven't been to Canada. Bro, yet, you know? got to. I, I was just up in Toronto, and I got to tell you, such a, an eclectic blend of diverse flavors. You know, oh, yeah? a lot like New York City. A lot yeah. of a lot of culture there. And That's what's up. Uh, I think you wouldn't have so much trouble finding some, some healthy cuisine. Oh, yeah? Oh, man. Okay, okay. They got it going on in Toronto. Okay, <laughs> yeah. All right, so this we get is this smelling up. so good. Dude. This is pretty much almost about done. We just lightly browning it. You know, you're just grilling it up. So flow, y'all are in for a big treat today. We got your highness making you guys the ultimate in vegan cuisine. Gonna get you guys filled up for your weekend with some sustenance here. All right, all right. So we're gonna go ahead. This is pretty much done. We're gonna switch this over. Let me actually take this off of here. You don't want to overcook it, right? No, you don't want to overcook it. You know. I mean, you could, if you like it a little more dark and crispy, go for it, man. You know, so for this, we recommend just in this, in this particular state, right? So we're gonna here you go, it. my friend. Let's we're gonna move that over. Oh, right yeah, there. you good? Yeah, it's, it's not good. too hot. No, it's not too hot. Your not hands hot. are tough now, right? Yeah, hey, I mean, maybe that's it's the blue gloves, man. It's the Mike Jacks. <laughs> it's the Mike Jacks. It's the Mike Jacks, man. All you right, know, so right. we got that. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of the dish going. We got some water in there. We're not we. So we use some oil on the curry jackfruit for this, for the base of the actual dish. We're going to go in the water, no oil. It's fun in here, bro. It's smelling delicious. Your yes, highness. Sir. So we got the onions in there. So I'm going to go ahead and add our cabbages. Mm. I'm going to add our green cabbage here. This is a nice healthy hearty portion man yeah, this is oh, so that's a whole head man. That's, that's a whole head right there Whew. and that's a half mix up the dish 
we got a little bit of we the got purple. some smaller chunks and we got some bigger chunk so we're gonna go ahead and add that in here you know and it looks like a lot but that's really gonna reduce down it's gonna reduce down a lot tremendous so you know you just gotta go ahead and get get your hands dirty Are going good. You can you can feel it. Yeah, I can feel it. The spices are going. That's gone. when you know it's going to be delicious. When 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 the smells start kicking up, we got the onions, the garlic. Y you used a little bit. Is there some turmeric that we're cooking with today? Yeah, we're going to use some turmeric. It's definitely on deck. We're coming around to that, man. That's a, I love turmeric. Ooh, mm -hmm. let's let's bring out okay. my boys from SoFlo. See what we got going on here. Jacob, what's, what's happening, good? man? What's this, good? What's this is my good? boy, Your Highness, the executive chef, vegged yes, out. What's going on, vegged out? Good yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good to meet you as well. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're like cooking it up, spices. man. We're cooking it up. Like we're cooking spices. it up. You, can, you, you know? guys are all about your delicious, healthy foods, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. I, I, I knew you would appreciate some good cuisine. We wanted to have the official, you know, vegan cuisine happening, some Caribbean flow. We got our boys from SoFlo in here right now. Cooking with your highness from Vegged Out. We're live on Cheech and Chong Network. If you guys are looking for some heady, healthy Woo! cuisine, you came to the right place. Happy Friday. Big up yourself. We're cooking up some stewed cabbage, yes, some, some curry jackfruit. Yes, Bro, it is smelling so delicious in here. What What's happening right now? We, well, well, we're right stewing now, it up. Right, we're stewing it up. Right now, we don't add it in all the organic onions, purple cabbage, and green cabbage. We're just going to let them stew up for a few minutes. Like Through um, a friend, dude named Ryan, that works with um, SGS. Ryan, um, yeah. Yeah, our yeah, boy, Ryan shout out to yeah. Broke Surfing. Yeah, 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 yeah. My boy yeah. Ryan yeah. Avery. Yeah, you know, he did, me, right he did right me some shirts, and you know, we were chopping it up about you know just what it is, and you know, we start talking about music and reggae, and he was like, hey, you should check out right SoFlo. So you know, it was good to get a chance right to meet y'all in the flesh. Good to make them link, brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. So. So so we got so we got a whole bunch of different spices. Now with this part, we like you said, we're gonna get into the turmeric. We're gonna get into a little organic thyme and oregano. We got some organic allspice. Actually, cook clean. You know that's what it's about. Jungle there's war, there is no peace. I and I walk past a bar, I know. I'll go to spectrum rejoice in an event horizon momentum. Seen as we dare, we dare at ease. Number that go pick up a grudge and agree. Just say I and I should have had enough already by now. Had enough already by now. I chant Rastafari right now. Chant Rastafari right now. Hey, Rastafari right now. I chant Rastafari right now. And every time the bully be in a peace, then the vibes of the people get down. Hey, hey, a glorious man, the peace and crown. Of the ever as I 